Casual Fishing here, bringing you another casual fishing video. Today, we're doing something a little different. As you can see behind me, I'm at Keystone Dam right now here, just west of Tulsa, Oklahoma. And the goal today is hopefully catch some big stripers. But, you know, as the Arkansas River mission went, you never really know what you might catch here. Actually, I guess this is the Arkansas River, so I guess we can technically have another Arkansas River mission, but I would, I would consider this a Keystone Dam mission. But like I said, hoping for stripers, but in all reality, you can catch anything here. Gar, carp, catfish, stripers, spoonbill technically, but it's very unlikely. But let's just see what happens, guys. You know, this is gonna be a multi-species day, and let's just, let's just go catch something cool. So, with that being said, guys, let's go fishing. All right, guys, so I've arrived at the spot, and I need to say, the water's still whipping around pretty good, but it's not nearly what it was back in May. Now, actually, I think what I'll do is here, I'm gonna show a clip from, oh, I, I just saw, ooh, it was like a big, big thing of bait fish right here. That is so many, that's a lot of shad right there. It's a lot of shad, okay, that's a good, okay, I need to get in the water. But as I was saying, I'm gonna show you guys a clip from back in May about how flooded this place was back in, it's pretty incredible, but I will warn you guys, it is filmed on a phone, so it's not gonna be the best quality. Pretty crazy stuff, right? If the water was cleaner, you can see there's literally just hundreds of bait fish just like right here. Well, I'll tell you guys this much. This little, this little crankberry here, little right off trap, is definitely matching the hatch really well. There's just thousands of shad right along the shoreline right here. And I keep seeing stuff chasing it, chasing them, but I can't get them to commit to my bait. Unfortunately. Sean? Yeah, I do. Oh boy. No, oh, I lost it. No. I felt good. Oh, it's a gar. No way. I had a gar on. Oh, man. The good one, too. The problem with guards are so hard to hook onto because of the way their mouths are shaped. You have to have like very certain types of baits. So you don't have any hope. So I'm not really surprised that came off, but man, you know, <laughs> it just shot up upstream. I was like, uh, what? <sighs> well, I had to retie because I lost that uh, that shad bait, but um, that's right. I got plenty of uh, I got plenty of crankbait, so I mimic shad. But all I know is I keep seeing these freaking gar like porpoising up like tarpon over here, and I think I've already hooked into one. But you know, as you guys know, it's pretty difficult to catch these things. So it'd be it'd be a bit of a miracle to actually land one. There's a fish way out there. Looks like he's dying, unfortunately. Probably just uh, took a bit of a ride over the dam.
Fish. Oh boy. Got those rocks. Oh, it's a gar. Oh, oh, it broke me off. Crap. <laughs> oh, the <was> big gar. <laughs> Oh. Alright, I gotta stop catching those. That's the second bait I've lost already. Get off my face. Oh, that's injured in a lot. Rush, man, that thing pulled. Alright, so I had to retie both fishing, fishing poles. Just saw another gar porpoise over there. But. No one might be disappointed about missing a fish like that. But it's just like, you know, I don't I saw the really the right equipment equipment for it. You know, I just don't really have a chance of really landing any of those. Which I would love to catch, you know, land a giant gar like that, but it's just not gonna happen with the equipment I currently got. Because, as you guys know, at least for the people who watch my channel frequently, these are bass fishing setups. Not for gar. Because, I mean, I know, I mean, you can definitely hook into them, but I mean, as you saw right there, this is going to break. Because you got those giant teeth and crap. I don't think I'm the only one that's ever gotten stuck there. <laughs> wow. Well, don't know how, but uh, got that crap out. I don't think I'm the only person that's gotten snagged there. I kind of wish I could have gotten the uh, that green line out of there, but I couldn't. It's out of reach. right there. So that big log literally just went right over the dam. That was pretty cool actually. Big old tree right there. Because you guys just heard the uh, the dam alarm started going off, which means that the water level increased, which I, I can definitely notice it already. Actually, I'm gonna see if, I can, if you guys can see this or not. But right there along the shoreline, this is just full of shad. Man. Probably just hundreds, of, maybe even thousands of them. No luck as of late when it comes to fish bites, but we're gonna keep going. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, there's one last shot at the the log. All right, let's so get some fit. All right, guys. So decided to call a day. I got places to go, things to do, and it's getting pretty hot outside. And I was I haven't gotten a bite in at least an hour and a half. So don't really see much of a point in sticking around. But um, despite the fact that I didn't catch anything today, it's still a lot of fun. Um, coming into the today, I had never hooked into a gar ever, and I managed to do it at least twice today for sure. Of course, wasn't able to land either one of them, but. I don't, I mean, I just didn't really have the right equipment for either one of them, so. Not entirely surprised for that. A little disappointed, but you know what? I didn't really have much of a chance of landing them anyways, especially the bigger one. Because that bigger one is probably about 10 to 15 pounds, and that big of a fish with this much current and all the rocks, I'd say it's pretty unlikely I was going to catch it anyways. And of course, it broke me off because, you know, gar of teeth, and it snapped my line. But. 
you know, it is how it is. But with that being said, I do really want to come back here one of these days, especially once the water level goes down a little more, a little more, because I think once the water, once the water stops spinning so much, the stripers and hybrids start coming back, and hopefully I can catch a few of them. I'm not really sure when that'll be. When that'll be, I might, I might have to still wait till next spring, but we'll see what happens there. But I will come back. But definitely love to do some damn fishing. And not even just Keystone Dam, like there's Ulaga Dam, there's Caw Dam, there's Fort Gibson Dam. There's, there's a lot of dams around here I could fish for stripers, gar, catfish, carp, you name it. So if you guys want me to do this again, let me know. Probably do anyways because I enjoyed it, but I figured I'd ask you guys anyways. But that being said, guys, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And you guys know the drill. Keep it casual, folks.